Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Broku and welcome back to another Black Clover video and in today's video we're talking about a very important detail that you probably missed in the last episode of Black Clover and the anime. Now I'm not talking about the recent one of Julius versus Licht, but I'm talking about the episode where it's Mario Leona versus Raya. There is a tease that a certain race that could be existing in Black Clover that is famous for being a race of Norse mythology and would be one of the final key races to almost confirm that the Black Clover world takes place in Norse mythology or Black Clover takes place in a world where there is multiple pantheons, one of those being the Norse pantheon. And if you are into Norse mythology and you're an astute viewer, you probably would have noticed this, but this comes from when Raya was using a copy ice magic and did a spell called Jotun's Ice Flow. Now, the important part of this is the fact that it is Jotun's Ice Flow. If you don't know what a Jotun is or the Jotun are, they are the basically in a way they're the demons of Norse mythology. They're, Jotuns are not necessarily demons, but they are a somewhat equivalent. There are many Jotuns though, or Jotunard, that are actually neutral or good, but most go against man and the gods. Jotuns are basically giants in a way. Jotuns don't necessarily translate that name does not necessarily translate from Jotun to giant. It's just that since a lot of Jotuns are giant in stature, that's one of their, I guess, nicknames now are the giants. But it's really more accurately to be called Jotuns because that is a devourer or a destroyer. And that's what the Jotuns are. I believe Jotun might even mean chaos. And the Jotuns, the Jotunar, are the chaos equation of the Norse realms, while the Norse gods, the Aesir and the Vanir, are the gods for order or justice so it's order and justice versus chaos and it's very important that the phrase Jotun is used because that makes it quite likely that Jotuns could actually exist in Black Clover and that makes sense how the Jotun name is tied with this ice magic attack because Jotunheim the realm where the Jotuns live is a basically an ice realm or a very cold cold realm and so it makes sense why this spell is called Jotun's ice flow because Jotuns live in a ice realm or a very cold realm now this is important because of course we already have had humans in black clover which is the one of the main races in Norse mythology then we had elves then we had dwarves then we had dark elves and now we have a mention of a Jotun, which is basically we have so we have humans, elves, dwarves, and Jotun, the four main races in Norse mythology. We have references of gods, as there are multiple gods, which could be the Aesir, the Vanir. We have mentions of the gods of fate, which is the mentions of the Norns in Norse mythology, and the fact that the gods of fate. Comparing that to Vanessa, who is a witch who uses thread magic and controls fate, just exactly what Norns do in Norse mythology. We are maybe getting even closer and closer to a reveal that the Norse, that the Black Clover universe takes place in the Norse mythology universe. So, Earth is seemingly Midgard. And demons and devils, people are going to question, well, how do you have Jotuns and all this stuff, but still have demon, demons and devils? And it could just be that the demon or devil that we just fought was a Jotun, but it's also called a demon or a devil, because if you have noticed, in the Clover Kingdom, there are churches with the cross, which means that Catholicism is probably a very popular and widespread religion in the Clover Kingdom and they could just say anything that is an evil nature is a demon or a devil and therefore this Jotun which is evil would be called a demon or a devil or maybe at this point they're both the same thing 
or there's just like I said before this is multiple pantheons where different religions and mythologies all exist within one universe but yes I do think this is a very very important detail that I know a lot of people missed I pointed out this out to people they didn't even notice it yeah this is a Jotun being mentioned in Black Clover which Honestly, I really do hope that we will get to fight against Jotuns and towards the end of the series. I would not be surprised if in the final over the final overall main arc of Black Clover, if that has to do with the Jotuns and has to do with Ragnarok. Because the Jotuns are the opposing force to man and the gods. And on Ragnarok, it's basically a final giant battle where Jotuns invade Asgard, attack the Asgardians, they attack Earth, or Midgard, they attack a lot of the realms, and it's a giant battle between the two opposing forces, in which pretty much, in some sources, everything is destroyed, and some sources, almost everything is destroyed, and a very, very few amount of people survive it, and basically, that's that. Again, we have a bunch of Norse references in Black Clover. We have William's World Tree Magic. Noel and Ossie are having Valkyrie dresses, which means that, well, they could be of Valkyrie descent. We also have other realms being a thing, and many other spells and such of that nature. So, this is very possible that Black Clover is Norse mythology. And I would really think that would be a really interesting thing. But this was just a short, quick video to point out that Jotuns have now been mentioned in Black Clover. Which now means that all of the main races have been either talked about, mentioned, or shown. And, like I said, we have humans, elves, dwarves, dark elves, Jotuns, gods, and gods of fate. All the main things... Have been mentioned now it's just let's wait and see what happens next hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you did notice this down below please subscribe and like hope you guys all have an amazing day plus